If a web application displays different messages in response to correct and incorrect password, this leaves the change password function vulnerable to brute force attack. This would allow an attacker to target other users of the application to enumerate their password and take over their account. During this video, we look at this scenario in action. For the purpose of this exercise, we use a lab from Web Security Academy and you can find the link to this lab in the video description. The password change function of this lab is vulnerable to brute force attack. And to solve this lab, we need to brute force Carlos' password and log in into his account. Alright, let's jump in and get started by clicking on access the lab. To review the forgot password function, we need to log in into our account. So we go to the login page and fill out the username and password fields with the account credentials that we got from lab description and click on login. We need to do some experiments with the change password function to understand its behavior. We are interested to see if different combination of inputs for current and the new passwords would result in different error messages, which can help us determine if the provided current password is correct. For the first attempt, we provide an incorrect value for the current password and two different inputs for the new password fields. We get the message current password is incorrect. So the application gives us a clear message that the current password is incorrect. Now we are interested to see if the application returns a different message if we use the correct current password. So for the second attempt, we enter the correct current password and once again we provide two different values for the new password fields. This time we receive a different message. New passwords do not match. So the application displays different messages in response to correct and incorrect current passwords. And this leaves the forgot password function vulnerable to password brute force attack. Based on the application behavior, we know if the current password is correct while we provide two different inputs for the new password fields, it returns the message new password do not match. So we can use this message to enumerate the correct password of the victim user by performing a brute force attack. In Burp, we go to the HTTP POST request for changing the password and send this request to Burp Intruder. We need to configure Burp Intruder to perform a password brute force attack for user callers and flag any response that contains the message new passwords do not match. For the attack type, we choose a sniper as we only have one set of payloads. In the payload position, first we clear the current positions, then we change the username value to Carlos, which is the username of the victim. Since we want to brute force the current password in this request, for the payload position, we select the current password parameter. Next, we need to configure the payloads, so we go to the Payloads tab, and in the payload settings, we paste the list of the candidate passwords that we got from lab description. The last thing we need to do is to configure the intruder to flag the HTTP response that contains the message new passwords do not match. So we go to the settings tab and in the grab match section, add a new item with the message new passwords do not match. This will add a new column to the attack table and will flag the HTTP response that contains this message. Now we can go ahead and run the brute force attack. Once the attack is completed, we go to the attack table. We notice there is an HTTP response that contains the message that we are looking for. So the corresponding HTTP request should contain the correct password for callless account. We go to the HTTP request and copy the current password value. To access Carlos' account, we go back to the web browser. First, we log out of our own account. Then we go to the login page. Now we fill out the login form with Carlos and password that we just copied from Burp Intruder and proceed to login. As we see, the password was correct and we could log in into Carlos' account and solve the lab. During this lab, we saw how the application's behavior of displaying different messages in response to correct and incorrect inputs can help an attacker to enumerate the correct passwords of other users and take over their accounts. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great contents. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next videos.